familiar to all of us. It's called a handheld. And you can't actually use a handheld for a packet communications. The radio has to connect to the terminal mode controller, as Harry explained. Okay, a terminal mode controller is one of these little gray boxes that cost you about 300 bucks, right? Not always. This is a terminal mode controller. It's about the size of a DP25 connector. This happens to be the Baypac DP1 packet modem. Now, this is a very simplistic TNC, limited function, transmits and receives that 1200 baud, so it's suitable for HF or VHF packet only. It will listen at 300 baud, so you could use it on HF, but it's primarily designed for VHF. The neat thing about it is it's got a modular phone jack that connects it to the radio. The radio has a plug in the, in the mic jack, it has a plug in the speaker jack, and this plugs in to the RS-232 port on the computer. Now, unfortunately, I've got a 9-pin connector here, so I've got to have a 25 to 9-pin adapter, which you'll notice is about the size of the TNC itself. Once we're here, we're now into a computer, and now we're into the world of software. The software that, that's running on here right now is the, uh, the Baycom software that's provided with the packet, or with this uh, BP-1. It is a relatively simplistic packet program, but it performs the basic functions. And let me uh, put this outside antenna up on the off chance that we might actually connect to someone. We'll offer some type of split screen. In this particular case, the command area is on the top of this screen. This is where I'm going to enter commands, enter text that I'm going to send. The center area is the, is the messages that are going to go forth. The bottom area is what's, is what's actually being heard out in the outside world. And it looks like we actually did hear a packet from this other place. 